what is up everybody welcome back to Cyclodian this is Zay and today we are demonstrating or monitoring the potassium permanganate uh, treatment on our fish tank it is a very useful treatment it is a bit harsh on your fish so let me take you step by step in this process how you want to do it and how do you want to monitor your fish while you're doing it because during this process what potassium is going to do is it's going to go in the water column it's going to kill anything organic it's going to oxidize it so it means when it kills everything organic instantly it will suck all the oxygen out so you want to aerate your fish tank or pond or whatever you're doing uh, pretty well and you should be ready and we have taken all the precautionary measures to have the freshwater hose connected so if anything can go wrong or if anything goes wrong in this process we will drain the water put the fresh water in so fish can breathe and then we have our dear friend hydrogen peroxide so we're gonna put that in the water which acts as a deactivating agent so it cancels potassium with hydrogen so you're gonna be needing this and double the amount that you're putting in for the potassium and remember the crystals of pure potassium are very potent so you have to make sure that you have perfect exact ratios that suits your system mine is 125 gallons plus four gallons for the filter so I am just gonna do one gram it's 100 gallons of US 100 US gallons equal to one gram but I'm just gonna keep it on the lower end of the things so we're gonna just use one gram of this powder and you will see how potent this stuff is the moment it hits the water it's like pretty pink very purplish pinkish color you will be like oh my god that's a candy you know but trust me it's not candy it's actually killing everything in there so you want to keep an eye on your fish uh, this process actually lasts four hours that's what all the big uh, fish keepers say is like Dave and all the folks that I watch and have collected this knowledge from there are great videos out there you can check out their videos too um, so one gram of this powder for 100 gallons but I'm gonna be doing 125 plus 4 so 130 ish uh, gallon of water for with one gram and it's gonna clean all the good bacteria bad bacteria pathogens external worms whatever is there in this water column it's gonna annihilate it so it's like an it's like a nuking it right so but hopefully it doesn't nuke the fish <laughs> you know if something goes wrong again we are well prepared but things can always go wrong so be very careful while doing it what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fill this disposable cup till here and I'm gonna pour it periodically after every five ten minutes just to see if my fish is doing okay if they are breathing fine if this starts coming up at the surface I'll just stop it neutralize it with this it will instantly neutralize it and will let your fish be so it's like deactivated so you need the canceling agent you need the starting agent so before we start this process I want to tell you how I got here to this point where I was like okay there is no other way to do it it's only this way to do it because I've been using metronidazole because there is internal parasite clearly there's stringy poop and all that jazz for nine days exactly today uh, in the water column because they stopped eating but then we got this microscope and we did some testing on the fish tissue that we collected and I saw some external parasites in there that are not very healthy for fish we don't want to go in depth for microscopic diseases and all that jazz so we tested that and then we tested potassium on those parasites we nuked them with a droplet of potassium on our petri dish actually and they instantly everything that was moving was done was gone so if that one drop is so potent for at least 10 drops of water so then you can imagine what was going on even if it was a droplet so let me show you how minuscule that drop of water was so this is the pipette and this is how minuscule the droplet was on that petri dish in resemblance to this this is the other 
I hate saying this word honestly, other pipette that we used and it was like half filled. So, but we used like this much, obviously you can't put that much on your <laughs> Petri dish. So we nuked it and everything that was moving was annihilated within microseconds. Like literally we were watching what's going on and everything just died. So that was a very interesting process. I hope we can show you someday, but not today and not in this video. Without further ado, uh, we should start the process. A couple of things that you wanna make sure. Um, I will show you what color your water should look like. It should look like a uh, neon pink, not dark purple because dark purple means that's very concentrated. I will show you when I put a little bit of water in that PP. And how do you know that PP has done its work and it's ready to be replaced after four hours? They say that you need to put it in for 16 hours. Don't do that. Just four hours is enough or PP will tell you exactly when it's done. And how do you know? That pink, pretty pink color that you were seeing will turn brown. So when it turns brown, there are two things you can do. Either you can do an 80% water change or you can put this hydrogen peroxide in there and it will clear your water, like crystal clear your water. Uh, I will show you actually in a very uh, little water body that how fast it deactivates PP. But let's go and get into this process and we'll show you what happens. Very important again, aerate your fish tank, pond, double the time you want it to be aerated. Second thing, monitor your fish four hours straight. Do not leave like literally just be sitting like that, right there staring at them. So the moment anything goes wrong, you're there to act upon it right away without killing your beloved pet. All right, so let's go and don't be scared. So start this process, you will need uh, two cups, one filled with your tank water or pond water, one empty cup. Do you, you would definitely need a scale to measure. Two. There we go. And that's about that. And remember, this thing is very potent. You don't want it to be on your clothes because it will stain your clothes. So now this is done. What we're gonna do is we're gonna pour water and let me show you. Look at that. Isn't it like super dark liquid? I'm just gonna mix it some people they aerate it but we're not going to do it look at this this is how the color will look like and watch what happens and now i'm going to put hydrogen in this you see how it fizzes and deactivates it that's the reaction happening. So you see that uh, I told you that it's gonna lose its pink color. So you see that it's fizzing and the chemical reaction is happening and now it's brown. So it means that it's deactivated. It looks like Coca-Cola, but don't drink it. Now let's go and put this in our tank. I will let this go through the system. You see how the water is turning pink.
So it's been 12 minutes and everybody looks fine. And we have dropped a whole one gram of PP in the water column. And you see there's like nice pink color. And now after four hours or so, it'll be not this bright pink, pretty color. And this is the color actually you wanna achieve when doing, if you're just going based on the color way of doing PP. So you wanna keep monitoring your fish are not coming up because this is a very potent thing that we just did. It's gonna kill everything, all the diseases, even your beneficial bacteria. Again, I'm saying after monitoring this treatment, you gotta worry about one thing, and that is ammonia, because it's gonna recycle your tank. So now you're recycling your tank. We have a lot of tons of biomedia laying around in other tanks. So we'll put them and jumpstart the tank again, and they are coming from a healthy tank. So nothing would be uh, sick in those tanks. All the fish are alive, everybody is looking fine, but we're gonna keep an eye, because at any time, anything can go wrong. We'll keep on updating you. This is raw footage just we did it right in front of you so let's hope for the best so you guys see that those little particles in there the worms the detritus worms they all are dead so they're coming out of the substrate too and a lot of them are there this is why you want to do water change after this treatment PP is just destroying them all. All right guys, it's been uh, almost an hour and 30 minutes. And as you can see, like the water is not as pink as it was looking in the beginning. So this is the sign that uh, PP has done its work and is uh, inactive now, but we're gonna keep it in here as recommended for at least two more hours. And then we'll, gonna, we're gonna do 80% to 90% water change. You can pour hydrogen peroxide in it all the fish are still alive. They're doing totally fine as, I don't know if you can see them. The water is kind of murky now. So in the beginning of the video, I told you that the PP will tell you that when it's done doing its job and when it's inert. I did dose it a little bit lower than what uh, I needed. That's about it for this. We'll show you the tank once we do the water change, how clean the water looks. And that's how you do PP treatment in your tank without killing your fish. You must have heard a lot of horror stories. If you do it properly, and if you have correct scale and everything, it won't be a problem. So as you guys can see, we forgot to film the process where we put the hydrogen peroxide in the water and uh, it turned it crystal clear. As you can see, like this is the same aquarium all right, so as you can see, that is all done. It's all brown. Now you can see that I'm gonna put hydrogen peroxide in it. And are you ready for the magic? Watch the color fade away. It'll crystal clear the water. You can see right here, it has started working. Thank you for watching. This is Zay again. Do not forget to like, follow, and subscribe for more knowledgeable stuff and more informative stuff. Um, today we were not trying to film, but we had to. As you guys follow us and like us, it lifts our morale and gives us more will 
to keep doing what we're doing and hope it helps you guys and if you have more uh, information more knowledge about this please share it in the comments all the people who are watching it will be benefited by that and even myself i keep learning so we're gonna keep learning and keep improving in this hobby see you guys next time bye, -bye.